Taurus, let's jump into these messages and see what the universe wants you to know. We're going to pull from three different decks. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What do they need to know? All right, let's get four cards from this deck. And shuffle again. I'm being told to shuffle again. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? My love is starting to go stronger and stronger each day. I didn't realize just how much I really do love you. I feel so foolish for playing games. I only played myself. I did it to get a reaction out of you. I don't feel you love me. Perhaps you're seeing someone else. Maybe I'm just being paranoid and I love you. I know I don't say it, but I do... Oh, I'm sorry. I read that wrong. I, I love you. I know I don't say it, but I do. It's hard for me to express my feelings. Let my actions show you. All right. So um, this looks like someone who wants you back. Maybe this person tried to um, walk away from you thinking that it was going to work with someone else and it's not working out that good. Because it says, I feel so foolish for playing games. I only played myself. I don't feel you love me. Perhaps you're seeing someone else now. Yeah, so this looks like someone that may have walked away from you, Taurus. We're going to see what comes out in the um, in the other deck. I feel like this is somebody who is now seeing that you they do love you. They do care about you. Maybe they should have not played around with this connection when you wanted them. All right, so let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What do they need to know? this person want them to know what can Taurus expect from this situation and or this person all right so we have you're so smart your intellect really turns me on um and I really enjoy our conversations and then we have convenience over heart staying out of convenience Heart belongs somewhere else, living in their comfort zone. So they may be in another relationship right now, wanting to get out, wanting to come back towards you. This may be somebody that's spying on you. They're seeing how good you're doing or they they feel like you don't care about them anymore. Like you're not fighting. I feel like you're not fighting for this anymore. And it's sort of bothering this person because maybe they thought walking away from you and going towards somebody else that you were going to fight for them. And you're not fighting for this. We have, will you listen? There are so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? Oh, all right. So maybe somebody is coming in to talk to you, Taurus, and express themselves. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What do they need to know? Uh-huh. I told you. Yep. We have back with X, but do you see how this person is looking off? Like, Ben is looking off from Jennifer. So maybe they went back towards an ex and now they're realizing that they don't want to be with this person. It could be a karmic. It says the situation is linked into a karmic energy. And it is the reason for the challenges that you are having with this person. Somebody's heart chakra is open now when it comes to you. They've had some sort of awakening. Um, this person may be realizing that you're a twin flame. Even if, even if they don't know what a twin flame is and they don't understand the twin flame journey, this is a feeling that they have. Their emotions, their energy is sort of being drawn back towards you, Taurus. For some of you, this may be a fire sign that you were dealing with, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? I'm sort of picking up the energy that somebody feels like they're now realizing you're better fit for them. Yep, we have longing, longing to be together, missing you, nostalgia, suffering, and silence. And we also have true love, praying for better days, and it's a win it and something to say. There's something I really want to share with you. I'm waiting for the right time to tell you. So this person really does want to talk or they want to express their feelings um, praying for better days and this may they may feel like like now they're realizing that you're their true love 
in it to win it. I'm never going to give you up. So if this person gets you back, I feel like now they're going to take this serious. But I feel like this is you over here adulting. Taking charge of your life. Putting in the work. Being mature. Being responsible. Maybe you're working on a business or... You just, you're throwing your all into work. Maybe you're trying to accomplish some sort of goal. You may be trying to buy a house, a car, you know, maybe just trying to live better, be more, be more responsible. And I don't feel like you're focused on this person anymore, but now their focus is on you, Taurus. This may be someone who feels like you're gone for good and they don't have a chance of getting you back. So we have unblock me. I miss you and want to connect. Please unblock me literally or energetically so we can speak. I have a lot to say. So some of you block this person and we have no one compares. No matter how many people I've met and experiences I have, there's no one who compares to you. So I feel like they've met several people or they've dealt, for some of you, this person have dealt with several people before and they tried to replace you and it's not happening. They can't find anyone to, that measures up to you. We also have fears blocking connections. Scared to take a leap of faith. There's still hope and miracles. I know you lost hope in us, but I'm going to surprise you. Yeah, somebody may surprise you with an apology because they feel like you guys are meant to be. I feel like this may shock some of you because you may say to this person, like, you didn't want me when you had me. So, like, why do you want me now? Like, you treated me bad or you put me through a lot. We also have through it all with you and a love that grows with time. So maybe this person needed to walk away from this in order to grow up, to experience some things. The universe may have set this person up. Like as soon as you walk away from this, you're going to take a fall. And then you're going to realize you should have stayed with Taurus. So what messages do you have for Taurus? What do they need to know? Well, they want to break away from this connection. I got to cover this word up. We have miserable as F. So they may be sleeping with someone every night, but this is how they sleep with this person with their backs turned. And then we have freedom. I want the freedom to pursue my own happiness right now. So yeah, this person wants to be free from whoever this is. And then I feel like they think about you a lot. Sorry. But it could be someone, um, they, this person that they're with, they could have turned their back on you for this person. And now they're getting their karma. Um, yeah. We have just leave. It's not working out. Some of you, this person lives at a distance. We also have toxic relationships. So they could be in a toxic relationship where they argue with this person all the time. We also have family issues. Looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting information on you. I guess trying to see if you found someone else or if you're dealing with someone else. Some of you may have to travel to see this person or this is someone who likes to travel, wishing that they could take a trip with you. We have romantic getaway or a long distance relationship. Yeah, some of you, you have to travel to see this person and maybe you Skype with them or FaceTime with them or just text them all the time all right so we have sexually hooked and we also have i love you and can't move on so it was all about timing with this situation i feel like when you two were together it wasn't the right time we had bad timing waiting for the right time patience is needed so this is someone who's sitting around possibly thinking about you and like trying to say to themselves, is this the right time for me to reach out to Taurus and just tell them what I'm feeling? It says, I can't move on no matter how hard I try. I love you more than I have ever found a way to say to you. This person may feel kind of weird telling you all of this because they know that you're going to... Look at them in a way like, okay, but you screwed this up, not me. So what am I supposed to just, you know, hear all of this, accept your apology and just fall back into a relationship with you? Like, I feel like there's something about the situation, Taurus, where they know that it's not going to be that easy. They're hoping that it will, but they just feel like it's not. This is someone who's also um, realizing that 
there's something about the sex with you that they miss, the intimacy. We have addicted to sex, intense sexual chemistry. So they may be feeling like this other person just don't do it for them. Okay. Let's jump into some tarot. And let's see what else the universe wants you to know, Taurus. Because this looks like someone who's struggling with this other connection that they're in. Maybe they thought the grass was greener on the other side and now they're realizing that it is not. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What do Taurus need to know? Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords. Someone wants to be honest and truthful with you. I think they have been thinking. Of, look what's at the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Pentacles. I'm sorry, I got to pick this deck up. I was trying not to drop the whole deck. The Queen of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So this person definitely has something that they want to say to you. They're thinking about it. So the overall energy in this reading is you. <laughs> it's like, this is what they're, they're like. Okay, it's time for me to be truthful with Taurus. I feel like this person is just not happy. They're trying to overcome something with the Four of Swords. I feel like this person thinks about you a lot when they're relaxing. Maybe when they're just laying on the couch watching TV or laying in the bed watching TV. They may even think about you when they're with this other person. Yep, look at that. We have the Four of Wands reverse. This could be a marriage that they're in that they're not happy with. And then we have the Two of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody, Taurus that is realizing that you are the stuff. <laughs> They're like, why did I walk away from Taurus? Like, look at my life now. It's not right. This could be a fire sign with the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. But with the Nine of Pentacles, this person knows that you, like, you have your shit together. And if they tried to find someone else that was like you, they can't. It's hard. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who's very independent, successful. You may have a business or you just have a good job, nice car, nice home. You dress really well. You always look good. That's the Nine of Pentacles. That's how they're seeing you. They're, they're feeling like they screwed this up. Yeah, this looks like somebody who may be married because now I'm seeing the Hierophant or this is just your energy coming out here strong. For some of you, this person may be married. You know that. So they could have went back to the situation or even if they weren't married maybe they were just living with someone um or this could just be your energy coming out they're learning some sort of lesson about you so what messages do you have for Taurus? temperance some of you may have been dealing with the sagittarius or this person is trying to um I feel like they want to come in and balance out the situation. They feel like you bring a balance to their lives, like you bring harmony and happiness. And they're trying to be patient. I don't feel like this person wants anyone else but you. Now they're realizing that. I don't feel like they realized that before. We also have the strength card. So this may be a Leo that you're dealing with. Or this is someone who's trying to have the strength to come towards you and talk to you about this. I feel like this person's holding back. Ace of Cups, one in a new beginning. Five of Pentacles. Yep, this is somebody who left you out in the cold before, who now with the Six of Cups. Look at this energy. Now with the Six of Cups, they want this reconciliation. They're having this nost these nostalgic feelings about you, Taurus. They shouldn't have left you out in the cold. They shouldn't have pushed you away. This is someone who either pushed you away, walked away, or just left you out in the cold. Ghosted you or something here. This person's suffering. They're going through something. I feel like they hate to go home. Look at this person with the Ten of Wands. There's a home in the background. Looks like they're walking to this home, but they're not happy. There's a lot of burdens on them. There's struggles, and they may argue, and you know there may be a lot of, of drama and issues here. I don't see happiness, though. The Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy again. So some of you are definitely dealing with the Sagittarius that's missing you. We have the Knight of Wands and the Temperance. I'm sorry about that, y'all. That was confirmation though, right? <laughs> Somebody wanted to reach out to you. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords here. 
So this person may be thinking about you a lot at night. We have the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Wands. They're definitely going to come through with this communication because the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse here. So they may even be trying to walk away or thinking about walking away from a family situation that's just no longer working. You know, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this person may have even fallen on hard times when it comes to their finances. They may even be feeling like they're getting some sort of karma because of how they treated you. They may have had an awakening because the judgment card is right behind the Ten of Pentacles reversed. We have Scorpio energy here, Five of Cups, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this person is ready to walk away from whatever situation that they're dealing with because they may feel like coming towards you will be better for them. They feel like they can get their life together with you because maybe this is where you guys were. Maybe you guys were making plans, um, talking about, some of you may have been even talking about opening up a business. Why am I seeing here that this person is walking away from a situation or wanting to walk away from a situation? Um, and I feel like once they do, because right now the tower is falling I feel like this person's falling out of this tower. But they feel like once they get away from the situation, they will have a better chance of getting back on their feet. They're willing to work hard to do that. With this Ace of Pentacles, there is an opportunity coming in. A financial opportunity. Some of you may get back with this person and open up a business or um, put your money together into some sort of investment i see that for some of you i don't know who this is going to resonate with as far as the eight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles um and if this is not the, you and this person doing this together this just could be you taurus there's some money there's some sort of opportunity that's coming in while this person may be stressing and struggling we have the king of swords here so some of you may have been dealing with a gemini libra or an aquarius that's now falling out of this tower with the person, along with the person that they were dealing with. I don't know why I'm picking up here that somebody may be losing their home. Because I'm seeing this tower and I'm seeing like um, somebody in foreclosure. Or they can't afford their mortgage or their rent. So they may even be getting put out of a home. All right, let's get one more. Spirit, give me one more for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Oh, okay, give me one second. That card just flew right across the table. All right, so it was both of these that came out. This one flew across the table, the death card. And then we have the Ace of Wands. So someone is very attracted to you. There's a lot of passion here. And I feel like they're willing to change something in their life in order to come back towards you. We have Scorpio energy here. So but they're will willing to make some changes. Uh, the next card in the deck is the lovers. And we also have the three of wands. But what is this person waiting for? Or if they're not waiting with the three of wands, it's all about expansion. They're just doing a lot of thinking, trying to figure out what their next move is. And then we have the four of pentacles. This is somebody who fell on. They're either falling on hard times or they fell on hard times already. And it's just making them think about what they had when they were with you. Things were better. Things were good. Maybe, you know, they weren't falling on hard times. We have Gemini energy here and Scorpio to death and the lovers. So someone may be coming towards you very soon, telling you that they still love you and that they still want this and that they're sorry for how they treated you and that they should have never walked away or left you for this other person or they're just sorry that they screwed this relationship up. So those are the messages that I have for you, Taurus. Thank you for watching my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.